the best way to become magnetic is to have really good messaging. And the way to have really good messaging is to map out a journey uh, that your typical patient goes through. So for example, if you're dealing with someone who has uh, maybe some issues with their intestines, they're not sure if they have a food allergy or what's going on. They feel tired. They feel bloated when they eat certain things, but they're not sure which things cause it. This is a, a classic you know, example of someone who might consult a primary care physician or perhaps a GI physician. And so by, have, by mapping out the journey that your patients go through, uh, you can actually identify certain points uh, in that journey and help your patients before they ever arrive in your office. So, for example, one of the things that we treated a lot of was knee pain. Knee pain is a huge problem in America. And interestingly enough, it is actually exceeding the estimates that were initially placed on it. So, you know, every every year um, there's actually marketing and, and business companies actually uh, estimate like, OK, for, you know, uh, orthopedic devices for knee surgery, uh, we expect, you know, a 10 percent growth uh, year over year. You know, um, for knee pain and these kind of things, they're actually increasing faster than that. Uh, which is really interesting. So, for example, with someone with knee pain, primarily one of the main issues they're going to have is what's wrong with my knee? My knee hurts. I'm not really sure what's wrong. What we did is we actually built a quiz that somebody could answer that essentially walks them through an algorithm to diagnose what's wrong with their knee or what the most likely diagnosis is with their knee. Uh, and then it would refer them to the clinic. It's very simple. It's like, hey, you know, uh, based on what you told us, we think you have this. And the next step is going to be for you to come in for an evaluation. We'll take a look at it. And then most likely we'll probably have to order some x-rays, you know, uh, something like this. And so you can do the same thing as a medical entrepreneur and make yourself magnetic by providing that information. And what happens is you don't have to sell anybody anything. You don't have to be a salesman. You don't have to be slimy or cheesy or put out ads with discounts. You're showing people that you can help them by actually helping them. Like what a concept, right? Uh, but people overlook this all the time. And so because most of the people in medicine don't have a lot of business training, don't have any marketing training. This is, you know, uh, kind of like, you know, revolutionary. <laughs> Sad to say, but the reality is that you can map out their journey and say, OK, for the person who may have a food allergy, um, you know, number one, the best thing they could probably do is to start a food diary. And so and record what we eat and how they feel. And that would be kind of the first thing they might do. Then number two, they might uh, get some blood tests done, you know, make sure the, you know, Make sure your liver is doing good. Make sure you know kidneys are doing good. Make sure we're not missing something, that kind of thing. And number three, they, they would come in and they might do some allergy testing if you want to do that. Or number three might be, hey, if you're a GI physician, you might want to take a scope, see what's going on, may take some biopsies, whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, and so you can map out this journey and just by explaining the different steps of the journey and how to accomplish it, you will become one of the most magnetic GI physicians that's out there because there's nobody else doing it and everybody wants this information. And so for most patients, they're relegated to things like Healthline, you know, to websites that are basically written many times, not by professionals, but by people that are essentially marketers or people that are, you know, article writers from, you know, God knows where. They, they can't take the complex medical understanding and break it down to, to basically show it to a patient. And the thing is that this is a hidden skill that you have been honing for all the years of your training. Uh, and that is, it's like a superpower you just don't even know you have. If you are in medicine and you are interacting with patients every day, you have the ability to take very complex medical topics and make them very relatable to someone. And so that skill, that ability to do that is so valuable. You can help so many people.